elements you've learned about so far attempt to control and coordinate tasks. But control and coordination are hindered when there is a great deal of division or compartmentalization within the organization. Think about the federal government. When Democrats and Republicans are divided, they don't work well together. To overcome this division then, businesses have created boundary spanning. This occurs when people form relationships with other people outside their formal work group. An accountant might develop a working relationship with a person in human resources, or a CEO might form a working relationship with another CEO in a different organization. The advantage of building a boundary spanning organization is that by reaching outside their formal work group or even the organization, people tend to be more creative, make better decisions, share knowledge, and even perform better. To encourage boundary spanning activities, we can do a number of things. Assign a formal liaison to communicate with other groups or organizations. Develop cross-functional committees within the organization that allows people from different functions to work together on some project. Encourage people to participate in learning activities like earning certificates or attending conferences where they will meet other people in their industry. Use job rotation to help people understand the different parts of the organization. The best leaders know their organizations inside and out. All of these strategies encourage people to interact with those that they wouldn't normally interact with. They span their own boundaries.